Hello. The previous video demonstrated the installation of the MySQL server on your computer and how to set up the template database which can then be used to store your own CD data. In this video I'll demonstrate how to add and retrieve data from the database. Open CD Toolex and connect to the database. The tables are listed in the left hand window and the table contents are shown on the right. Below this is a single word or character search box, a MySQL command line editor and the data retrieval buttons. The generic table is the main access point for the database and lists the protein spectra that are stored in the database along with the metadata contained in the data file header. The spectral data itself is stored in the generic data table. To add a spectrum to the database, select the spectrum in the file list on the plot tab. Choose Add to Generic from the database menu. When the table is refreshed, the spectrum will be listed. To retrieve the spectrum, select the spectrum from the database table and click on the Retrieve Unscaled Spectrum button. The spectrum is displayed in the plot window. To take full advantage of the database, the spectrum is added in units of milledegrees. It can then be retrieved in milledegrees or scaled to units of delta epsilon. This requires the concentration, the optical cell path length and the mean residue weight of the protein to be stored in the database. There is a field for the concentration in mg per mil in the generic table. The cell path length is entered in the cells table and the cell is given a code which is entered in the cell ID field for the generic table. This particular cell is not in the database so the cells table will need updating. Right click and choose insert row. Similarly, the mean residue weight is found in the samples table, linked by the code field in the generic table. Retrieve a scaled spectrum by clicking on the Retrieve Scaled Spectrum button. Then make sure DE is checked in the dialog box. This may seem a bit complicated, but when collecting large amounts of data on different proteins using different cells, it enables the archiving of protein and experimental parameters efficiently. If the instrument has been calibrated using CSA, the calibration spectrum can be added to the database by selecting it and choosing Add CSA Spectrum from the database menu. The CSA spectrum can be accessed via the generic CSA table. The cell ID and the concentration fields of this table must be filled in. The CSA file name is then added to the CSA file field in the generic table. Then to retrieve a calibrated spectrum, click on the Retrieve Scaled Data button and check the calibrated checkbox. The raw data, i.e. the repeat sample and baseline scans, can also be added. Select the data and choose Add Raw Data from the database menu. To view the raw data, right-click on a spectrum in the plot window and choose Show Raw Data from the menu. Before submitting data to the database, the foolproof way to supplement the metadata is to use the header wizard. This ensures that the data is formatted correctly and enters the appropriate fields in the generic tables. Select the file, choose wizard from the spectrum menu, then add the data. Fields not updated via the wizard can be updated directly.
to add data series such as the thermal melt or pH assay, make sure the files are in the appropriate order in the file list, normally first to last. Select the data and choose Add Temperature Scans. Although the table is called Temperature Scans, any data series can be entered. The first spectrum in the list will be added to the generic table as a representative of the data series. To retrieve data series, copy the file name of the representative to the search box. Select the Temperature Scans table. Select the search box and press Enter. The spectra associated with the file name are now highlighted and can be retrieved in the usual way.